Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Stories with Sally. I am so excited to share with you a book this week that I recently discovered because I used it for a lesson with my second graders. And I have never heard this story before until I used it with my lesson this year. But I was so excited about this story, I thought it would be great to share with all of you. This is a story about friendship, so it is very special. The title of this story is Miss Tizzy. Miss Tizzy is the title. The author is Libba Moore Gray. It says, by Libba Moore Gray. She's the person who wrote the story. And the illustrator is Jada Rowland. And that is who drew the pictures for the story. And the illustrations are really great in this story. So let's get started. We have the title page. And then if we go to the back, that is where we will find the copyright page that tells us where the story was written and published and what year that happened and some other information. Miss Tizzy always wore a purple hat with a white flower in it and high top green tennis shoes. The neighbors thought her peculiar but the children loved her. Miss Tizzy's house was pink and sat like a fat blossom in the middle of a street with white houses, white fences, and very neat flower gardens. Miss Tizzy had no fence at all, but she had flowers that grew everywhere and spilled over onto the sidewalk. Miss Tizzy let the children pick the flowers. Then she gave them clean glass jelly jars to put them in, and the children loved it. Miss Tizzy's big yellow cat, Hiram, slept in a window box in the middle of some red geraniums. Sometimes he climbed on her shoulders and hung there like a tired old fur piece. On Mondays, Miss Tizzy baked cookies. She let the neighborhood children put in the raisins and then licked the bowl while the cookies were baking. The children loved it. On Tuesdays, Miss Tizzy made puppets out of old socks. She made a puppet for each boy and girl. They made up their own stories and put on shows for Miss Tizzy. She laughed and clapped every time, and the children loved it. On Wednesdays, Miss Tizzy played her bagpipes. She gave the children spoons and pans and let them pretend they were playing real drums. Each Wednesday, one child got to be special and play a silver penny whistle. Every child got a turn. They marched up and down the street with Miss Tizzy in her bagpipes leading the parade. Hiram sometimes marched along and the children loved it. On Thursdays, Miss Tizzy gave the children clean white papers, paper and crayons. They drew pictures of sunshine and butterflies. They put them in Miss Tizzy's red wagon and delivered them all over town to people who had stopped smiling. 
and had grown too tired to come out of their houses anymore. Hiram rode in the front of the wagon with a red ribbon around his neck, and the children loved it. On Fridays, Miss Tizzy opened her trunk and they all played dress up. There were hats with feathers and hats with bows. There were baseball caps and straw hats with bright red bands. Everyone wore a hat. Miss Tizzy put on a lace shawl and served pink lemonade in her best china cups. The children loved it. On Saturdays, Miss Tizzy put roller skates on her green tennis shoes and went up and down the sidewalks. The children came out of their white houses and joined her. They made a roller skate train holding on to Miss Tizzy's long skirt. Hiram was usually the caboose. The children made train sounds and Miss Tizzy was the engineer. She never scolded the children for being too loud and the children loved it. On Sundays when the day was over, the children stretched out on bright quilts in Miss Tizzy's backyard and looked up at the stars. The tree frogs croaked their summer sounds as Miss Tizzy sang songs about the moon, slightly off key. The children didn't care. They loved it. One day, Miss Tizzy took off her purple hat with the white flower and laid it on the window seat. Then she took off her high top green tennis shoes and placed them under her high white bed. Miss Tizzy lay down on her feather mattress. She was very sick. Hiram left his window box and curled up at her feet. He did not purr anymore. The doctor came and went. He shook his head and looked very serious. The children were sad. They didn't know what to do. They missed their grown-up friend. Finally, they had an idea. On Monday, they baked cookies with raisins and brought them to the pink house. On Tuesday, they stood in the yard and held up puppets in the window. They put on a puppet show just for Miss Tizzy. On Wednesdays, they brought pans and spoons and played a soft little drumming sound just outside the door. On Thursday, they drew pictures with orange and red crayons and put them in Miss Tizzy's mailbox. On Friday, they put on funny hats and left a tea tray at the front door. They left Hiram a bowl of cool milk. On Saturday, they put a brand new pair of skates in a big box with a purple ribbon on top and took them to Miss Tizzy. On Sunday, when the sun went away, the children stood underneath Miss Tizzy's window. They sang all the moon songs she had taught them. Miss Tizzy's hat glowed in the moonlight. She was having a peaceful dream. She heard the children singing and she loved it.
Isn't that a wonderful story about friendship? Now, I wanna talk a little bit about if this story is fiction, if it's not real, or if it's nonfiction, a real story that actually happened. So Miss Tizzy is a fiction story, which means it did not actually happen but this story could happen. So we call this realistic fiction. This is a story that could happen, so it is realistic fiction. But because it did not actually happen, it is not a nonfiction story. Okay, I also wanted to talk to you about a takeaway from this story. So this story was about friendship. And I really think that the theme of this story, the main idea of this story, is that we can have friends who look different than us, are different ages than us, and we can have friends that look the same as us and are the same age as us. There is no limitation on who we can be friends with. And I really think that is the theme of this story. And I also want you to think about how in this story, Miss Tizzy did so much to help these children. She wanted them to have fun and she let them pick flowers and she made them cookies and she did so much for them. But when she became sick and when she was unable to do those things for the children, they decided that they would do those things for her in return. And so I think that is so telling of what friendship is all about. And I think this story definitely tells us what it means to be a good friend. So one of the things that my class did, and it turned out to be a huge success, is we made a list of friends. And I think you could do that. You could make a list of some good friends. You can just write down their names and maybe tell how you know them. Maybe from school or church or from a sport that you play or from your neighborhood. So think about making a list of friends and beside their names, you can put how you know them. And then later on, I always think it's good between writing activities, especially when we're just getting some writing ideas down on paper, to take a little break and to leave it for a little while and then come back to it. Because a lot of times what happens is that we have all these great ideas that come to us if we've left it for a little while and we're doing something else. So make your list and then maybe a couple days later, or the next day, come back and choose one special friend and you could write a story about that friend. I hope you enjoyed Miss Tizzy and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, Stories with Sally on YouTube. See you next time.